Hey, and welcome to part two of this series. Today we're looking at the who we are section that I got on the screen right now. And the more fun thing I think will be this, uh, the desktop version instead of the mobile one. And let's jump right into it. So I already wrote the HTML for this back in part one. In this video, I'm focusing on the CSS and how we're actually going to be creating all this and making it nice and responsive for little screens and big screens. Alrighty, so uh, let's jump down here and put in our home hero and let's go and look at our HTML a little bit for this one and see how I did this. So I had a home about, so it's my about section on my home page, and in there I have my text box. So I'm going to be treating this as my main area and we're going to sort of take this out of the flow a little bit uh, to get that to be positioned up there. But we're only going to get there once we do the mobile view. Uh, so whoa, I we're just gonna make it look like that to start with. So we have our home about and home about text box. So my home about for now, I don't think I need to do anything with. Um, we're just gonna start with our home about text box. And let's pull up the browser so we can see this happening live. So there's a few different things we need to do right off the bat. Um, one problem, actually before we even get to here is to go back up to our typography and start styling things a little bit better. Um, so in my typography, these are H1s. So my H1 needs to be a font weight of 300. And it needs to be bigger, font size of, let's do a three rem. That's too big, eh? 2.5 rem. Is that too big? That looks okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think that's all I really need for there, actually. And let's come down. Do I need to worry about my spacing? I'm probably going to add a little bit. Oh, and I did forget to put a container. Hmm. I'm going to need a container out here. And the reason I need a container out there is if I look over here, uh, the whole thing should be in a container because the background is being held. This is my main, my home about will be with this background picture and that's being held in the middle of the screen. So all of this should be inside a container. Uh, close section, close container, and let's just save that. Uh, so that should update it a little bit and we're gonna have to get around that at the mobile view actually. We do, okay, that's gonna make it a bit more interesting. I think. <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, so let's just start by make, giving our background color here. Background color. Nice and easy one to remember. 23, 23, 23. See, and now because I put that in a container, we're sort of screwed. Hmm. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, let's give some padding. It needs to be pretty big. Uh, 3M. That's not too bad. Maybe I can just do a margin, negative margin, margin, zero, I know my width. Uh, if I just do this, I did a width of 95% on my container. What am I thinking now? I'm, I'm trying to think of a way I can get rid of this without having to screw around and have a different container or a container that only kicks in at mobile views. Um, or I just might take that container off actually, but Let's just try um, width 110%. Does that make sense? And margin, whoops, margin left negative five viewport width. Does that, ah, I'm scrolling. Uh, so should that be 105? That doesn't make sense though. Whoops. Yeah, that's too small now. But 110's too big? Why is 110 too big? Oh, what am I thinking? 100 viewport width. That will solve my problem. And my margin left. I do need a negative margin left. Negative, but 5. Oh, okay, I know, uh, I'm, I'm doing negative five because I was thinking I'm at 95% and I'm missing five, but it should be half that, uh, negative 
Ah, okay, so that works. So pr pretty much what I've done is I've said my width of this should actually be 100% of the viewport, so it's going to take up the whole size. I can't use 100% here because if I do 100%, it's going to go to 100% of its parent. And then I have to figure out, okay, well, the width of that is 95%, so I actually need to go bigger, but 95% to get, it gets complicated. So uh, the easiest thing to do is really just doing a viewport width. So 100% of the viewport's width. And then my margin, now that it's the full screen, I can do my margin left of negative two and a half to pull it back over because I know my original container had two and a half here and two and a half there. So that's cool. I'm really happy that worked. But there's one small problem. I'm a little worried about how this, I need more padding basically on the left and the right. Um, let's set up that, that green thing. And the way I'm going to do the green thing is with an outline. And outline, two pixels, solid. Um, so I can't see it all the way around. But the reason I'm using an outline and not a border is because outlines have this awesome offset. Uh, negative 3m. Ah, awesome. So that actually looks like it's positioned pretty well how I want it. Maybe I'll do a negative 2.5 actually. So outlines are just like borders, except we can offset them either outwards or inwards. And so I've offset it inwards and it gives me the box that I'm after. Um, I should also set my font color here. Uh, color to 00FF6C. Oh, except I only want my header to be that color. One second. Uh, that header is that color. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. Um, home about text box will have to have its own color of 00FF6C, and that shouldn't just be text box, that should be my H1. Yeah, I'm going to do that and change this over to FFF. Yep. Okay. And I definitely need to increase my padding here for the margin top there is killing me. Um, my H ones, I want to have margin top, margin top of zero. Ooh, that looks better there, but I'm worried that it's going to throw this off a little bit from all the work we did here. Uh, undo, save, redo, save, undo, save, whoops, save, redo, save. Uh, so two things, it has screwed up now my title. So my title that needs back the font weight of 900 and let's just do a margin top of 1M. Yeah, there we go. That should bring it back to exactly what we had before. And then we have the who we are. That actually doesn't look terrible. Except my who we are is in the complete wrong spot. Um, I'm definitely doing some... This is going to get a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to make a class for this. This is really the only... I could make a class for this. But let's just stick it here. Um, I'm going to have to do some fun things here. So position relative basically what I'm looking at now is how I'm going to get this to be on top of there instead of an inside my box so I think there's a few things I'm gonna have to do so position relative and I'm gonna have to do a position absolute for sure and then top what if I do a top zero so top 1m should move it down 0.5 that should put it right in the middle Hmm, it's right in the middle, but it's in 0.25. It's pretty much right where I want it, 0.23. That looks a little better. So 0.3 for my top. Uh, I need to give it a background. Background of the same we had before, 232323. And let's just give it a little bit of padding. Padding, zero top and bottom. 1M left and right. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, I didn't think of that. And one looks way too big, 0.25. That looks better. And actually, it's positioned pretty good now. What if I just did zero? That's actually properly centered. That doesn't look centered, though. It actually looks more centered when I do that. Oh, because my position absolute, it wasn't centered anymore. So that's just by happenstance starting. What if I just was? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, I don't want a width of 100%. If I do a left zero, right zero. Yeah, I was worried about that. Hmm, because now my background's just covering the whole thing. Hmm, 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 So instead of that, what if I do a translate, a transform, translate x 50%? No, wait, uh, if I do a left 50%. And then translate x minus 50%. Aha! Super. That's a nice little trick to center something. Um, so I'm putting the left at 50%. The problem, if you just do left 50%, like that, uh, it's putting the exact left at 50%, like the, this part at 50%. So this is in the middle, which obviously isn't centered, and that sort of sucks. Uh, so if you use after that a transform and then you translate it minus 50%, this is, you know, this is moving the whole thing to the middle of its parent, whereas this is only looking at this, so it's moving at 50%, negative 50% on itself, and it perfectly centers it. Ah, happy with that, there we go. Okay, and let's just jump back down to our iPhone now. And oh no, <laughs> uh, why did that happen? Because of my translate, it's running out of room. Okay, I'm gonna cheat just a tad. Where's my font size? <laughs> no, I don't want to play with my font size because that's gonna ah, uh, that's annoying. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Um, we will. I'm gonna play with the font size. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly think it's gonna be the easiest thing, and I'm hoping a 2.0. 1.8 Geez, 7.5 Wait, one second, let's just do a 1 for fun 1.5 Yeah, 1.6 7 Why is that falling on two lines? Because of the padding Okay, so let's go back to the big font size that I had originally Oh, uh, too many undos. Let's just, I need some padding though, one. I didn't even change anything. That's weird, okay. Um, actually, that is kind of weird, one second. Okay. And if I make my font size smaller? 1.8. I don't know, this is getting way too small now though. Hmm. We're going to have to have some media queries in here. Yes. Okay, we're going to stick with this. Um, this is already more work than I thought it would be. Top, uh, we're actually going to have to make that a lot more. 0.75 maybe? Okay, so that's on the iPhone 5. Uh, we'll go up to the 6. Right away I can get bigger, but okay, let's just go to our responsive here and figure out uh, where we want. So I'm going to say at like... 400 pixels right away. Uh, so at media and my min width will be 25 rem uh, home about text box h1 font size. Oh no, this shouldn't be my this should just be my h1. I'll stay here for now and then I'll move this up to my typography after. Uh, two rem. Can I even go bigger? Two point five. Two point two five. Two it is. Two rem. And two I'm actually kind of happy with. 
we're also going to have to do my home about text box h1. This has a few things. We're going to have to change the top value to about 0 0.5. 0.5. It's 0.65. It's a little low. 0.6. That's not too bad. So that's that. That's looking pretty good. And then when I get about, that's still I like it. I like it. Actually, that's I'm gonna keep that font size all the way up. So that's are my, and we're not gonna get that small. So we're going up. That looks good. That looks good. And I'm happy with the font size that's here. Actually, I just want to, if I will be able to, uh, padding will become zero and 0.25. I'm hoping can fit now. Maybe even like a 0.5. If I can get away with that spacing. No, I can't. Uh, so, point four, point three, five. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Aha, okay, that'll work. And we'll do that one all the way up until we get to our the the media query we've been using the whole long, which is sixty. Yeah, and then we have my sixty, and at the sixty, we'll change the font size again. Uh, so let's just copy that whole thing, paste at 60. Uh, we want to change a bunch of stuff, so let's just make that bigger. My font will jump up to like a 3 at least. Maybe that's a bit too big actually, a 2.5. We'll go to that. Uh, that means the top here is going to go down. 4. Wow, okay, three. And my padding can definitely be like a 0.6 now. Yeah, so that looks okay, and then it jumps up to there. That's perfect. I'm super happy with that. So that's working, there we go. Uh, so that's working pretty well. So at the 60, this is when things get much more interesting. My text box, uh, we need to change a lot of stuff actually now. Let's just copy that whole thing. Um, everything here is that's staying the same. My width is going to change. My padding, I think, will stay the same. That will change. The outline stays the same. Uh, and my margin left is going to have to change. The outline will go away. The color and position relative, that stays the same. The width will definitely be switching around. Um, and what else? The margin will definitely be changing. And while we're in here, we need my home about. And we can set our background now. So my background on the home about, what we are, uh, so it's what, oh, oops, uh, we'll go back, image folder, and I think it's what we are dot jpg. And I can't see it, of course, now. Uh, this is going to be like a, let's just jump up to like 40%, maybe. Nope, I'm not big enough. Ah, of course, that breaks the whole thing again. That's okay, we'll come back and fix that after. Um, and my background image here isn't working. Oh, this is positioned absolute. I don't have a height. Um, I'm not going to put a height on it. Let's just, let's just do some padding of 5M. Did I screw up my picture URL? Who we are. Oh, not what we are, who we are. Aha, there we go. And a few things that are super important here um, with my background image. Background size will be, in this case, my background size. I don't need a background size. I need a background repeat, no repeat. And I need a, let's just see how that looks actually. This is too small. Uh, we'll go with like 60%. Ah, that's annoying. I thought that would not be a problem anymore. Let's just take that off then. Okay, that's fine. Um, did you do with text align? 
left. My title should be text align left to I'll do a left zero text uh, text transform translate x of zero. Oh yeah, left zero. We'll put it there. Uh, da, 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 da. I have to think of my padding was four left four m. Rim, except that's and going to there. Let's just go look at my Photoshop design for a second here. Uh, what did I do? I had the text, <laughs> of course. It does look a lot nicer when it's like that. Okay, so we have a, our work cut out for us right now, actually. Um, this is me, guess actually, at just 3.75. Oh, okay, 3.5, 3.25, ah, that looks pretty spot on. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So it goes like, boom, it jumps up to there. I like that, but I have a few problems. One, I want more of my background. So my padding should probably be bigger. Oh, I'm doing padding. I want, I don't want padding on all the sides. Uh, padding bottom of seven, that's not, no, I need more though. Padding bottom of like 10. Whoops, that's why it broke. And the 10 actually worked out pretty good. This is already sort of good, but I need to move it up. Looking at the Photoshop design, it's not, it's gonna sort of stay in that spot all the time. Okay, so uh, let's just drag this whole thing bigger for a second and see what happens, okay. Oh, my container's not centered. Did I not center my containers? I did. Oh, I know why. Uh, it's the back. I have two things here. We need a maximum width is one problem. Uh, so let's come on my container. Width is good, but we need a max, max, max width. I'm um, not sure how big the max width should be though. I've been using 60 a lot, but I don't think 60 is big enough. Let's just try 70. That's not terrible. So that needs to move up. So that's okay. Let's just close this for now. Um, so I'm going to come down and what I want is I want the top of that. I'm, a, I'm on this screen and we want the, sort of the top of that box sticking out up here. So, um, the top width margin left, and I can take this off for now. I'm going to leave that the same actually. Uh, top of negative 5m. Hey, that's pretty good actually. I think that gives a nice idea that we're coming down to there. Another thing that I'd like to put on there actually is a drop shadow. And I'm gonna make a really nice shut shuttle. Very nice subtle drop shadow. And I can start that one. Yeah, we're starting it here. I only need the drop shadow once it's all moving into position here. So we'll do a box shadow of a zero zero. The blur should be pretty big of say 4M, no spread, and the color will be, we might as well stick with our, no, I'm gonna do an RGBA, of, uh, because I want it to be transparent, so black, and let's try 25%. That's super subtle, but it's sort of what I'm after. Uh, I might actually make this a bit smaller. 0.5? 0.5 is going to be way too heavy though. Hmm. Mm, let's just do like a 0.3 maybe. And bring that back up. I want to see it for sure. Um, can I see it? Yep. It's really, really subtle, but I like my drop shadows being super subtle, so we'll keep that like that. And I just like that sort of sticking up. I'm worried it's grabbing the attention more than this is, actually. No, I think we're okay. You come down there and then the eye drops to there, and when the eye drops to there, you'll screw 
down to see what it is. Now that width, I know it was too small before, but now it's too big. Uh, we'll do a width of 50%. That looks better. Huh, I think I'm going to increase the padding on all of this. It looked good before, but now if we look at the original design, I have a lot more padding on it. I just realized the text was capitalized. I'm not going to capitalize it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to stick like that. My leading is way too tight here too. Jeez, we have a few things to fix still, but I am going to increase the padding to, let's say, 5M. Or was it already 5M? 7M then. Uh, that means I also have to change my offset uh, for my outline. Outline offset. Um, what was it at? It was at negative 2.5. We can probably make that a lot bigger. Negative uh, 5M then. We're going to like double. That's too much. That's, ah, of course, that screws everything else up. Hmm. Yeah, that's the offset's too much now. Um, three. I want it to. 3.5. I want this to sort of be uh, 3.75. I'm, I'm really trying to get this green, you know, half, this is 50% and then the other 50% there. And I'm pretty happy with that, but now we have to fix this, of course. Um, let me just move that over. Do, do, do. Okay. Top needs to be much bigger. And the left needs to be much bigger. And my margin bottom on this? No, well then it's, why is the space here? These paragraphs have a margin on them and they're screwing all of it up too, I think. We'll just have, I mean, it's, We have to fix some stuff on our paragraphs anyway. Uh, margin top of zero. Yeah, that really helped a lot. And my P last of type will be uh, margin bottom zero. Super. Uh, so that just means that my bottom paragraphs have no margin, so it doesn't screw around with anything. Uh, for layout purposes, and that just squares that whole thing off really nicely, actually. And my paragraphs definitely need a much better line height. Whoops. I oh, up to 1.5. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, in general, for my line heights, I'm doing 1.4 to 1.5 range. That looks pretty good. Actually, that whole thing really came together right there. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with that. So let's just take a quick look. So I'm here, I see the top of that, which is great. And then I scroll down a bit and that comes in. I have the nice big picture and that looks really nice. And then when I come here, when it gets to right around my container width, that will disappear doesn't look super awesome here. I think I need more padding on the top and bottom. Um, yeah, so I think the small version here looks okay. Then we need more padding. Right around here, we definitely need a little bit more padding on the top and bottom. And even, I don't think I want it getting that wide. And then it jumps to there, and that's super nice with the picture. We have her looking right at us. It locks, and I was actually worried that we'd lose the left of it, but the way it's working now is actually super sweet. It's just sort of locked onto the left side of the page until it gets big enough. Awesome, I'm really happy with that. So we're going to leave it just like that, and I'm really, really loving, like right up to here is looking fantastic. So I'm super happy actually with this. My font size is a little bit bigger too, I think. Uh, what font size did I use? 22. Okay, so let's pump, let's just do that one last change. So it would be uh, at 60. I could even come in here and just do a paragraphs uh, font size 1.2 rem, line height 1.6, I think is what I said. Uh, so that looks nice, good, and then we get our nice big font size there. 
and that looks great i'm super happy uh sorry for the, the i jumped around a lot in this video a little bit um i hope i was clear enough with my explanations but if i skipped over anything or you're not sure about why i did something or how i did something leave a comment down below and please let me know uh, i i'm really happy with the end result that we got out of it so i hope you are too and in the next video we'll be looking at this section right here and making that have this nice little hover effect where we can see our projects and I look forward to seeing you there.